Hello and welcome. I'm Robin from DxO, and in this video, I want to explain the Upoint technology in just three minutes. The Upoint technology in the Knit collection is what makes selective editing so easy. This technology is integrated into the control point and control line selection tools. Using these tools, you can apply the selective adjustments needed to make your photography stand out. Let's add a control point to this image and click the mask icon. Now we can see the selected areas shown in white. But what's so impressive and different to the AI masking tools is that this mask is interactive, meaning that as I move the control point, the selection updates. Once the control point is in position, I can hide the mask to apply seamless and natural looking adjustments. Unlike with most AI masking, I'm still in control of what is and isn't being selected. But Upoint technology isn't just an alternative to AI masking, it can be the perfect partner helping you achieve excellent results. Using control points makes it easy to select circular areas of an image. But we can use multiple control points to select irregular shapes like this hillside. After adding the different control points to make the selection, we can group them. Now our adjustments are applied to all the control points in the group. If we click the mask for the group, we can see the selection shown in white. And even though the control points are grouped, we can still select, resize and reposition the individual points. When it comes to selecting large areas of an image like the sky, the new control line is perfect. After clicking the icon to add the control line, click and drag with your mouse over the area you want to select. Then to control the selection, click and move the sample tool to position it. After that, we can apply adjustments to darken and saturate the sky. And if the control line isn't quite in the right place, we can reposition it whilst watching its effect on the image. It's this interactive control that makes editing so intuitive in the Nick collection. Now let's add a vignette to the image using the new invert option. We can add a control point to the center of the image and then click the invert icon. If we check the mask, you can see that the outside of the image is now selected. Then we can apply our adjustments to produce the vignette. With several selections applied to this image, the selective adjustment list is becoming confusing. To make it easier to work with, we can rename the selections to something more meaningful. We just click to select the item to rename and then double click. After that, we can enter the new name for the selection. Now let's look at the group mask again because it's affecting more than just the hillside. To make this selection more accurate, we can refine it using the luminance and chrominance sliders. When we increase the luminance slider, we make it more accurate. And the same is true for the chrominance slider. Also, we can reduce the diffusion slider to reduce the spread of the control points. We don't even need to watch the mask while we're doing this. Then, let's save our adjustments as a preset by clicking the Save Preset button. We can then enter the name of the new preset. And let's choose the Save Local Adjustments to include the control points and control lines. Once saved, the preset appears in the Custom Presets panel where we can apply it to other images. I hope this video has helped you appreciate how Upoint technology can bring precision and flexibility to your photo editing. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website, knitcollection.dxo.com.